Hey guys, I'm Lance and thanks for tuning in. I'm doing this piece today for the September slide with Astroglide collaboration. And that is, I was watching Doris Ford from Doris at DF Designs and I was watching her do it live and she happened to be doing a fluid art painting using Astroglide and I thought, you know, that's kind of genius. Uh, and I'd like to try that myself and so in the live chat i suggested that maybe we do see if anybody wanted to do a collaboration so here we are with the september slide with astroglide and what i'm doing for you today is i'm doing a lady's head and like her head and head piece are going to be fluid art flowers and i did a piece recently that showed you how i do fluid art flowers and that had a white background this one's going to be with a black base background and done from a dutch pour and the flowers and there's going to be the paints are going to have a little bit of two of the paints are going to have Astroglide drops in them and then I'm going to do the flowers with Astroglide which is different than my last one that I did with WD-40 but I'll put a link up in the top right hand corner now where you could go and you could also check that video out if you missed that video but anyway this type of painting a friend of mine Tiffany Romine Tiffany Romine Art uh, did these kinds of paintings and she did them like with a kind of uh, blown out blossom flower and I'm going to be doing them with the um, Astroglide. So I'm just showing you a different way to do these and as you can see there I'm showing you that I put that in my magenta, two drops of Astroglide in my magenta and two drops in a Vallejo pearl medium. And that's the only paints that I put the Astroglide in. And uh, I'm just going to show you kind of my process as to how I do this. And I'm putting my base down, and my base is Artist Loft Black Soft Body Paint. And I also mixed some Amsterdam Graphite, and so it's kind of a silvery tone. And I thought that would kind of make it interesting, so it wasn't just a flat black. It's a very, th it's very thin, and I only mixed it with Floetrol and water, and made it very, very thin because it is going to be a Dutch pour. So I want my paints a little on the thinner side. Now, also, as I was saying, Tiffany Remind did these kind of ladies. She didn't ever really, the, they would only be like probably the nose or the mouth, and the rest would be the flowers that she would do that were kind of like a form of like a bloom. And she called them the Awesome Blossom. So I'll put a link to her videos in my description box as well so you can check hers out. And another artist, Lori Houston of Lori Houston Art, also does a really cool flower pop, what she calls flower pop. And that's an interesting technique for fluid art flowers. So I just thought I'd mention her as well. But as you can see here, I am putting down my paints for my Dutch pour and I'm putting it in this kind of zigzag design so that I can blow my Dutch pour down towards her head. So it kind of makes, you know, it's like fills out what would be the headpiece or her hair or whatever you want to think of it as and be the base for my flowers when I get ready to use my Astroglide and my cap top. So I have some things like a condiment uh, cup and some caps of various sizes and you're gonna see me kind of use those and uh, that kind of creates those flower-like shapes. I hope you're finding this video informative or maybe entertaining. And if you do think so, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up on this video, and ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new content. Okay, so now we're ready for the fun. We're gonna put the Astroglide in a small round plastic bowl in the bottom. And I'm gonna put the tops of my caps and into that and get it coated around the edges of the cap. And then you can see the reaction there, how it just immediately starts making those paints react and kind of radiate out, outward from that circular cap. 
and I just love that reaction. I think it's really cool to see it kind of sped up like this. And uh, you just kind of keep putting it around where you feel like you want to put these flowers or these blossoms. And uh, I'm using various sizes. There you can see I use the condiment cup and it's a little larger and uh, just kind of helps with creating a variety of shapes of you know types of flowers or blossoms and then you're going to use your skewer i'm using my skewer and i'm pulling some of that silicone from the astroglide inward and then that kind of helps just kind of enhance the shape of those petals of those flowers and uh just really fun too i mean i feel like it's just you know nice kind of uh way for you to just kind of play with the abstract idea of these flowers and I liked how it just looks like this giant hat or <laughs> this giant hairdo of flowers <laughs> it's like she her hair is made of flowers and so I, that there's a mass of that kind of aquamarine uh, color there on the right and I didn't care for that so I'm gonna actually put some more color down in that and then use the astroglide on the edges and the rim, the cups and the caps there to create another flower there. I also like the fact that because my paints were thin, it kind of was almost like I got a black pearl effect. I got some black pearls popping up here and there through the paint, which I thought was a cool effect as well. This is a fun technique to try with the Astroglide. The Astroglide and the WD-40 don't seem to leave all that much residue from silicone, so I kind of like using these and I like the interesting cells and shapes that can be created using the Astroglide. And I can't wait to see what the other people have come up with and the techniques and the things that they'll do with the Astroglide as well. Um, it's just really fun. I wanted to do a Dutch pour and see how this went making the flowers from that. The last thing that I did, the last video with the flowers that I did was doing it from a swipe. And uh, like I said, go back and check that video out if you haven't seen it. Um, it's really fun and I like exploring techniques like this for a while and trying to do different things with them. And you know, whether you do a straight pour or a ring pour or different types of techniques, um, like to see what you come up with let me know leave comments leave comments about what you think of this one and uh, love to hear if you've used things as well I've had a few people comment on things that they do and some people have used rain -X. Um, but I think it's just kind of fun it just gives you a different look and I like how elegant this is looking though with the black base the last one I had was a white base and so I think this is giving kind of a nice elegant look with this lady she kind of looks a little bit ghostly <laughs> and uh, I think it goes well um, with this black base underneath for these flowers so I really enjoyed doing that it's been a long time since I've actually done a piece with a black base so yeah it was really kind of fun um, now up before me was Doris Ford of Doris at DF Designs if you didn't catch her video please go back and catch that and after me will be Anuka of Anuka Fluid Art. Can't wait to see what she has in store for us. And there'll be a list of everyone in this collaboration in my description box. And there'll be a playlist. Please check everyone's video out. There's six of us. And it's just a really fun collaboration. I mean, Astroglide is also for your uh, personal viewing pleasure. <laughs> so this has been a kind of a fun collaboration just to kind of see what Astroglide will do with these acrylic paints and Floetrol. And uh, I'll leave it in my description box, my colors and my pouring medium recipes as well, if you're interested in that. And I wanted to show you the flowers for this piece, but this is going to be a two-parter because down below, I have not finished doing what I'm going to do for the resolution of the bottom part of her, kind of where her decolletage area is, and I'm still trying to figure that out, and so stay tuned for another video, maybe a short video, just showing how I do that, and I may use the glue gun, I may use some mixed media, I'm not sure, but 
as you can see here I'm just kind of closing up on those flowers and I used some of the drippings to incorporate kind of cleaning up the areas around her face from pulling the tape off and I'll go in and I'll probably mix up some paint for her um, her skin tone just to kind of get rid of a couple of the dots that happened there but I think she turned out pretty stunning she looks pretty nice and I was pleased with it so I hope that you have also enjoyed this my flower lady is on a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrap deep edge canvas and she will be up for sale if anybody is interested in her uh, I'd love to ship her out give her a nice new home but I'm really pleased with her and as I said tune in because I'll show you how I do the resolution for her decolletage area there in the next video. Up next will be Anuka of Anuka Fluid Art. Please check out her video and I will have another video up soon kind of continuing this but just wanted to say thank you and I wanted to say thank you to everyone I have I've gone up over my my uh, 3,000 subscriber mark and I wanted to thank you all very much for that and uh, just love pouring together it's a lot of fun and I just love kind of doing these videos and having this time with you and I hope that you've enjoyed this time with me and I look forward to seeing you again soon for some more fun pouring together <laughs>